Welcome back to the channel guys. We're back over at the house. Do one more video before we get our windows and sheetrock and side and all that goes on. I just wanted to briefly talk about insulation. Uh, it's probably one of the hottest topics uh, when building a house, you know, as far as what should I do? What's the correct way? What is, you know, what's the better way and so on. So I'll tell you what we did um, and kind of what we were told whenever we um, was trying to fig figure it out. We sat down for, you know, with our HVAC guy, contractor, insulation guy, and talked about it for a few hours. Um, you know, what what's the best way, got, got his recommendations and so on. So, um, so just to give you a little, we wanted to spray foam the whole house, but with spray foaming the whole house, um, A, it makes your house a cooler. So you have to properly get air back out of the house. Um, yes, it reduces your power bills greatly. Um, but with that being said, like I said, you have to somehow, if you just, if you don't do it the right way, um, then you're gonna have issues down the road. So if you fully spray foam your whole house and you just put in a regular HVAC system, then it's gonna mess up. Uh, it's gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have a super humidity house. Uh, it's going to leak down the sides of the house and uh, rot out your window sills and floor sills and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but the proper way to do it, a fully spray foam house um, probably is the most efficient way, but you also have to upgrade your HVAC system um, to get that air back out of the house. Um, so you, you have to have an air exchanger and all that, uh, which for us, uh, just a cost breakdown, I think it was going to run us, it's like $18,000 for our HVAC system for the normal side of it. Um, that also includes our bonus room. Uh, we had to have a separate unit for that. So we pretty much have two units in the house. One for the lower part, our house is only a one story house. Uh, it's 3,000 square foot, heated and cooled. Um, the bonus room, uh, like I said, is uh, it's roughly 500 or something square foot, but you had to have a separate unit for that and it was about $18,000. If we went with a fully spray foamed house, then um, that would have bumped our costs up to $28,000 and some change. So another, an additional $10,000 just for the spray just for the spray foam in the walls um so and then like i said uh, and that was not even including uh the cost of the spray foam in the walls uh which was i, I, I didn't get a quote for it but if i'd imagine traditional was three four thousand dollars uh spray foam probably would have been uh an additional 10 or 11 uh, just just in the walls um, What we end up doing though is uh, our builder or the HVAC guy and the insulation guy Said that if they were building the house, they would do it this way uh, Just so you get a benefit of both um, and it don't cost you so much up front. So the way we did it is um, Flip my camera around so as you can see we spray foam the roof of our house I said everything's done besides windows sheetrock and siding so we just spray foam the attic uh or the, the the roof line so we have no second story so it's full spray foam in the roof uh and that goes all the way throughout the whole house uh, as you can see it's just all in the roof um that additional cost um it cost me about another five thousand dollars uh, and instead of getting blown in insulation in the attic um, to add in the spray foam in the attic. Uh, so like I said, that should, because all your heat and air, everything rises. So that's going to keep the majority, that's going to keep the power bill down low enough to so we actually see benefits from it. Um, so that being said, we kept the traditionals, tr traditional insulation in the wall. Um, it's just whatever whatever the normal protocol is uh, i know it's different in all areas uh we're in alabama so we went with i guess that's r13 um in the walls so uh, like i said the spray foam it gets everywhere though but um 
yeah with that so with that being said we we done spray foam in the roof uh and then we put traditionals traditional insulation in the wall and the reason that we done this is we get the benefits of spray foam uh get the benefits of spray foam cost us a little bit more up front um but we didn't have to upgrade our hvac system so we kept our normal eighteen thousand dollar hvac system um since the house itself is going to get the chance to breathe um, and that was our biggest thing you know we wanted to do it the right way we didn't want to have issues on the road so um, and i really didn't want to spend another you know twenty thousand dollars on insulation to save 20 bucks a month 30 bucks a month on my power bill uh, the power bill itself will probably be pretty cheap um, i'll probably do a check back video of it um, i have no idea how much it'd be uh, it'd be much cheaper than where we live now but um, yeah so doing it this way was a decision that we went with uh, you can do it blown in in the blown in with traditional that's the cheapest route uh, with normal HVAC or you can do a full spray foam house ceiling walls uh, that's gonna be the by far the most expensive route uh, will you get the best savings from it absolutely but you're gonna like I said it was gonna cost us an additional um, twenty thousand dollars probably more than that probably an additional uh, twenty five or twenty six thousand dollars if we spray foam the whole entire house um, so I said we went with spray foam in the ceiling and the roof line um, and then traditional in the walls so that the house itself can breathe uh, and it, you don't doing it this way uh, like I said you still get the benefits of the spray foam plus you don't have to um, you don't have to get air back out of the house um, so I hope this video helps uh, you know drop drop below your comments questions you know i'll try to answer anything from our build that we've had going on um you know we've ordered so we started ordering all our all our plumbing fixture light fixture so um if you're watching this and you have any questions at all um you know drop it below i'll you know i'll try my best to answer it um and also like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out uh thank you for watching